Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V jury figure. Now this is my first time ever looking at a Storm Collectibles and it's actually my first Storm Collectibles figure ever. So I'm not too sure in terms of consistency of the brand or anything like that or uh, the general accessories or quality that is expected of the line. So it's interesting that this will be my first one. Jury is one of my favourite characters in modern Street Fighter ever since she was introduced in Street Fighter 4. She's been one of my favourites to play as and I just like her whole look in every single game. But I especially like her in Street Fighter 4 and 6. So this is based off her main look in Street Fighter 5 which is technically an outfit in Street Fighter 6 minus the sort of black leathery look around her chest but it's effectively the same costume so I thought it'd be cool to have and I wanted to see how it would scale with the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter figures as well as the Jada Toys figures because it's just nice to have a lot of posable Street Fighters because they work well as action figures. So taken out of the box you can see what she comes with so we've got the figure itself, two entirely separate head sculpts as well as four pairs of hands. And then there is a back insert with two different attack effect pieces. I should have paid attention to what Drew's attacks are called even though I play her a lot in Street Fighter. But it's her sort of spinning, uh, sort of Shoryuken style input uh, where it's like a circular kick upwards as well as a other kick effect that just sort of like rests in her foot and you can use it for basically any other sort of kick effect that you'd like as well as a tiny little stand to support the big crescent effect part. So it's an interesting loadout you can see why the box is as big as it is just because of that massive crescent but it also doesn't feel like a lot at the same time because this figure was something along the lines of like 18,000 yen at release which is a bit pricey. I don't know what the sort of standard cost of a regular Storm Collectibles figure is but this seemed like a bit for not very much even if the effect itself is massive. But anyway, taken out of that, here is Jury set up on a display and she looks pretty good, quite faithful to her Street Fighter V design. Generally all the paint is clean, there is some slight oddities on the chest area, I'm not sure if that shows on camera, but overall the paint application is quite clean and everything looks quite good, as long as it's lined up correctly, because Jury has a zipper in her chest down to her crotch. and there are three different body segments on this figure and you can misalign that incredibly easily and break the sculpt of the figure so it is something to keep in mind when posing but all the other detail on the figure looks really nice the deep purples the sort of pinkish purple along her legs and gloves looks good her feet are pretty well detailed as well and the spider logo on her back looks great put side by side with the Street Fighter SH Figure Arts, you can sort of see that the Storm Collectibles proportionally are a little bit bigger than them, but not by too much. So if they're in action poses and like dioramas together, it probably won't matter too much, especially with a character like Jury who is usually crouched down or low to the ground. Uh, so I think that they will blend in rather well. But overall, I think the aesthetic of the figure is quite good. And we'll go right into posability because I think that's where uh, Storm is the most interesting. So this is my first one, I don't know if it's consistent across all Storm figures that they do this, but there is a ball joint at the head, as well as a hidden sort of like hinging ball joint inside the torso, and the torso is rubber, or a soft plastic, so it's very bendable and malleable, and it hides the joint that's inside. So you can bend her neck fairly deeply, you can pull it out a bit uh, to activate the ball joint that's right at the neck easier but the actual like ball joint hidden in her chest is quite interesting and you can get some deep poses out of it. Her arms can move up that far, there is a swivel at the upper arm, full rotation, there's a bend at the elbows and a hinge at the wrist. There's also a butterfly and I think that uh, the soft body also works quite well with that because it doesn't get in the way of anything. The middle torso is hard plastic and there's a ball joint so it allows for a bit of rotation side to side. And the crush piece is 
a soft plastic as well, but there's another ball joint in there which allows for a swivel. Jury can kick forward that far and back that far, which is pretty good for her. I would have liked it just a little bit more. Uh, there is a split and a bend at the knee and a really, really tight pivot for the ankle. It feels like I'm gonna break it if I push it too far, as well as a hinge at the toes. I wish the pivot was a bit better. The ab crunch is really good with that double ball joint between the middle chest and waist. And you can bend her back decently far as well. And you don't really have a thigh swivel, but you can fake it with the ball joint. So general posability is pretty good on this figure. I don't think it's like incredible by any means, but I think the engineering is interesting by using the soft plastics. So the body itself doesn't get in the way of anything and the sculpt flows a bit better. I feel like that sort of technology, if it's used for other Storm figures, will work way better just because Jury's body is broken up with that zipper and it's very easy to break the sculpt, but if it's a character that isn't too dependent on that and uses the soft plastic materials, it's probably way more interesting, but still pretty good. Uh, Jury comes with three heads out of the box, so she's got a standard face with the eye patch, she's got a smiling face with the eye patch, as well as a smirking looking to the side face without the eye patch. And they're all pretty good faces. I'd say the eye patchless smiling face looks a little bit weird, but generally I think they all read as jury. I would have liked a more prominent sort of like glowing eye for her or an opened mouth expression fully uh, instead of say like the standard neutral face because she's always got a bit of a like smirk on her face. So it'd be interesting uh, to have something like that and not have the base neutral face, but overall a pretty good set of faces and they all look quite good. Now the other accessories are a bit more interesting. So the smaller effect part is meant to slot into her foot. There aren't any instructions on this figure, uh, which uh, makes it pretty annoying to figure this stuff out, honestly. But the small effect is meant to like clip into her toes a bit, but it doesn't really fit all that well. So you just sort of need to balance it and keep her in a pose where it won't come out. The other effect piece is a bit more interesting. There is a clear slot for her foot to come into, but it is an incredibly tight fit and I didn't want to break the effect part or her. So I just got it enough that she could fit in. Now this effect part actually comes in three pieces, so you can sort of customize it a bit, which is kind of interesting. And it takes a bit of effort, but you can get her to suspend in it and do her sort of classic crescent kick move and it looks pretty cool not gonna lie but it's not how i'm gonna display her by any means with her posability you can get her into some pretty interesting poses i would have liked a better thigh swivel but you can still reenact moves like her critical art from street fighter 6 which i quite like and again once you put her in poses she matches better with the sh figure arts line as you can see she can do her ready pose quite well. I believe you could balance her out if you really felt like it, but I do recommend a stand for this figure. And there weren't too many limitations that I felt beyond, say, genuinely the ankle pivot, which felt too tight and didn't have nearly enough range, or it didn't feel like it had enough range. I really didn't want to push it too much. But basically any other pose that I tried to get her into, it worked pretty well. It was a bit slow going because I was trying to figure out what I could really get out of the Storm figures, but generally I'm quite happy with the results, and I hope that's showing in the B-roll that's running right now, and I think it's a pretty good figure. Am I sold on the Storm figures? Not really. I think this is fine, but the price point of the figures is so-so, and I'm not really too sure about what sort of the other figures they've done in the past are like, like the previous Chun-Li's, Kami, uh, and Bison Ryu's and things like that. I am going to try and get the Luke from Street Fighter 6 as well as the Ryu from Street Fighter 6. I'm especially keen on the Ryu because he looks really, really, really good. And his accessories aren't too crazy and his range of motion doesn't need to be too crazy. But I think accuracy to the character is really important on that one and I'm really keen to see that one in comparison to the SH Figure Arts as well as the Jada toys. Um, but yeah, they look pretty good. I'm interested to see where they go. Uh, maybe they'll do some more Jury or another Chun-Li or the new Kami, that'd be nice. 
um, but yeah it's a pretty decent figure it does suck a little bit that the proportions don't match with other 112 figures that well but generally again in motion you're not really going to notice that but yeah i hope you enjoyed that video and i will see you all next time mm -hmm.